Pop niggas know me. Curb on, little homie. All days, all days. Yeah. Been a road, been a road. Yeah, so, so speak, talk, talk to, talk to, uh, about Coach John. I think you was about to go there, if I'm not mistaken. Coach. Was, was, you, was you about to go there, John? Yeah. You about to go, go where you just gonna go at? Man, I, I, uh, I used to go up to Kenner League and talk that shit out the stands like I was doing up Dunbar mm -hmm. and bye bye. And I used to look over there in the corner, you know, Coach was in this little corner, mm -hmm. posted up on laughing like shit over there. So, but the games was, they had the little dry announcer dude mm -hmm. announcing. So, and Jeff, uh, Jeff Brooks. Uh, was running the kennel. Yeah. So the, somebody was like, Miles, man, go ask, go ask Jeff, man, let you do the games, man. Yeah. I said, man, it's, you know, they ain't gonna let me do it. It was quiet there, too. Yeah, quiet I said, they ain't gonna let me do yeah. no fucking games up here, man. Yeah. They ain't gonna let me. He said, man, shit, you never know. So I go over there and I say, Jeff, because Coach over there dying at every fucking thing right, I'm saying. Right. So he called me over there one time and I got to go over there. I was like, damn. Go over there. I mean, Coach, Coach became my hero when he walked out. On that prop, what was it? Prop. Uh, oh, about the um, the, about the, about the um, kids, the kids. The college right, he walked, shit. He walked off the court with his team. Walked off the right. court mm -hmm. and left. Yeah, mm -hmm. he he refused to coach, and I, that he became one of my heroes. Uh, uh, after that, man, I got to meet him over there and was talking shit with him over there, blase blase, and uh, he was like, "I said, coach, let me do the games up here." Mm -hmm. He said, what you mean let you do the games? He said, that shit you talking in the stands? <laughs> and I said, no. I said, Coach, I can, I can do something. I said, you got to come down to farms. He said, oh, you run the Bird Farms right. League? I said, yeah, I run the Bird Farms League, Coach. I said, Let. So he called Jeff over there. You know mm -hmm. he's Godfather. Right. So they had to fire the dude that been doing the games. For, you know, the, the ball right. head dude, the right. little driver. And the coach Rick, even Rick. said, it. oh, yeah, he drive, blah, blah, blah. So me and Jeff worked out a deal, con you know, we had to pay that money. Man, they, they had the bleachers out all the way around, packed up there. Right. Steve now was up there, Sam. Mm -hmm. They was coming through, man. We had a we had a ball up there for, for them two years. Mm -hmm. And after them two years, so Coach said, man, I'm going to come down and check you out down the farms. I said, Coach, you ain't coming down there. Mm -hmm. He said, no, nah, I'm going to come. So he called me one day, man. It was hot as shit outside. So he said, what time? He, you know, he cussed you. Motherfucker, mm -hmm. what time? Cussing, to get, what, what time? What time to get started down there? You know, I, I ain't been down there in no goddamn heat. Mm -hmm. I said, nah, Coach, we, you know, I got you. He said, what about the parking? I, Coach, I got you. You come right. down, let's, mm -hmm. call me, let me know you're coming. I got a spot for you. Mm -hmm. Set you next to me, blah, blah, blah. blah. He come down that joint, man. It was packed. Got out the car, man. Everybody was looking at me like I got real, real crazy that day right. with Big John come right, down there. Yeah. And, uh... <clears throat> All the players stopped, you know, they go over there. That's when the Olympic team came. Mm -hmm. That might have been another visit. Not, that's not, that's that another was another visit. visit. That's another, that's another. Yeah, he came down there. So on his show we had on 980, man, he used to, they, they used to call my phone. They said, man, coach, talking about the Goodman League on, on, on 980, man. Mm -hmm. He talked, that's all he talking about. He, coach, love you, man. Call you Officer Miles. So on right. his show, I was Officer Miles. Right. On, on his show, people called him. So coach, the one convinced the white folks to start coming down mm -hmm. there. So right. the white folks started coming down there, man, catching the train down that joint, man. Oh, so he talked on the radio. That's how the yeah, white folks talk about it on the 980 okay. Sports Talk Show okay. with him and Doc mm -hmm. and uh, Brian Mitchell. He used to talk about every day. They was calling my phone. I said, man, I don't listen to no damn 980. I'm at right. work. Right. He said, man, coach, give me your props, blah, 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 blah. I think out of that time, I think coach made about, about four appearances, man. But mm -hmm. every, every time he came down, it, it was it was epic, man. And I remember when we did the Drew League game mm -hmm. at uh, Trinity, oh, that yeah. first Drew League game. Oh, yeah, well, I actually about that too. We gonna get more. It was it was overpacked, and mm -hmm. I had to refund people, and people was bashing me. Thought I was right. thought I had uh, right. the oh, biggest so. mistake I made with that was I sold tickets, three hundred tickets at the door, mm -hmm. and then the people went and dubbed them tickets. Right. That's what ended up happening with that. So a lot of people didn't get in but every one of them people that didn't get in got their money back mm -hmm. but they had to come down the farm mm -hmm. to get it so they was coach saw some of that shit right. so he went to bat for me on his mm -hmm. show and was like the man down there doing i listened to this one that day mm -hmm. he's like he for what he doing down there he ain't getting paid down there right. he down there right. he's saving lives blah 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 he said you motherfucker should well you know he couldn't cuss on the right. show but that's what he was saying should just just give them the money, tell them keep the money, and then write right. it off or right. donate to them. 
So right. right after that, man, they, the people started, the white folks started coming down there feeling safe. Now, we had our little bad times down there right. with, the, with, the, with the crime, you know. So mm. the league was doing a lot of stuff, man, that, that, uh, that I wasn't getting no – I wasn't really tripping, but when, unless somebody mentioned it. Right. Because, you know, you had these organizations that was getting money to so-called curtail crime and, mm -hmm. and do all this shit and – there wasn't no crime in, in, in the summertime. Mm -hmm. You know, like I say, once we had that little bad spot mm -hmm. where we had a couple of shootings down there, because mm -hmm. back then, man, them early 2000, mm -hmm. man, they saw their man down there, they weren't tripping. They, right. they, 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 they was going after them. Right. I remember sitting at the table seeing a nigga mm -hmm. chase a nigga in the alley, the dude running, the dude right here, right. and missed him 99 times. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> missed him 99 times. <laughs> And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, so right, after right, that right. shit happened, I found out. I said, man, I got to go holler at this dude, man. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> right. Hey, man. A broken clock right twice, man, one yeah, day, man. Yeah. <laughs> so we got that. Yeah. And then there's another incident, man. It was machine gun fire down there. And I was, right. they were trying to get at a dude down right. there, man. That, and then, you know, the dude yeah. was, was like, oh, I guess I'm banned from, you know. I was like, yeah. man, no, nah, but, you know, I'm trying to. Yeah. So I, I, I got a lot of respect from the, like I said, the street dudes, because mm -hmm. all the killers and the gangsters, they, mm -hmm. they was at the games. Right, right. <laughs> you know, you could walk through the gates. I could tell you what he doing, what he would be doing, right. what he would be doing if they wasn't down here watching these games. Right. So and people's putting up fires before they even develop, right? They develop. Um, you mentioned the, uh, that game with the Trinity, man. That was one of the... Um, that might was probably the strongest game that was played in the D.C. area, man. You had all pros come yeah. from the uh, – what was the Drew League team? And you had all pros basically on the, um, your team, uh, Shaq, you know. You got pro skill set, but all pros, man. How did that game come about? How did you hook – how did you put that game together? Where the uh, Dino that run the Drew League, um, I met him through Nike. Mm -hmm. Once Nike, Nike been my sponsor since 2008. Mm -hmm. So Nike used to have these uh, tournament of champions mm -hmm. where the Goodman League, all the little grassroots leagues they were sponsoring, Goodman League, Chi-Town, mm -hmm. uh, the Dykeman, uh, it's about seven teams. Mm -hmm. we, we went to L.A. and they had a tournament out there. And, you know, we was in New York, had a big tournament out there. And, uh, we we no, they came to the armory. Remember, they came to the armory and did that one at the armory. Oh, the armory, the, yeah, um, yeah. But we lost. That's when Silent right, was living. Right, Rest right, in okay, peace. Okay. Shout out to Silent yeah. too. Put a, a lot of work in in them gates. Right, Rest yeah, in peace, Silent. Yeah. Silent. Right. And um, did you say Lonnie Real about the work in the gates too? Did we miss him? L Train because he put the work in the gates. Did L we miss Train him? when I was running the gates, he ain't played that much. He okay. was he was playing. He was playing when uh when I was gone. He yeah. he, he, did, he did most of his playing when I was gone. Now, when he was with that shooter, who's that shooter mob? But yeah, but they—that's when him and Sponge couldn't right, couldn't so collab. They, they, right. they should have won a championship every year with that right, squad. But right. Lonnie okay. was a big alpha dog, and Sponge was up and coming. He was up and coming, and, and right. he, you know, Sponge wanted that that spotlight, and he deserved it. Mm -hmm. But okay. L Train did put that work okay. in, and like I said, uh, a lot of people thought uh, that I had I, I was, L Train was one of my favorite players. Right. But right. you know, he had his little followers that you know. Right. Thought I was uh, hating on him, but I shit. Mm -hmm. It was one of my one of my favorite players, man. Right. So uh, okay, yeah. the Drew League game. So we in New York. I think Din Dino and them. We beat LA in New York in that Nike tournament. Mm -hmm. So we got to talk about, but hey, man, let's do. It. Well, I said, man, but y'all, we play outside. He's like, well, we, and I was like, shit, I don't want to play outside. We gonna we can play indoor because you want to get the pros. Mm -hmm. So we talked that thing up, and then. Uh, I think KD played out there one 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 summer, and him and Dino exchanged some words. So mm -hmm. Dino called me, he said, "Man, we gonna we gonna do the game, put the game together. We gonna do the game." I said, "Okay, I got it." And back then, I couldn't find a gym, man. I knew I needed a, a big gym. I was trying to get Wise, and Wise said no at the time because they ain't really know nothing about the Goodman League. All right. And uh, UDC turned me down. So. Uh, Trinity was it, and I think Trinity hold what, what 1,100, 12 mm -hmm. people, man. Mm -hmm. So, but that game had all stars, about yeah. 20 all stars on the floor, man. Mm -hmm. That was that was. I give pro wise, 
but the biggest game and memory from the Goodman League is is that that first and one game. And one joint. Yeah, and with, Shaq, one with Shaq and Lonnie brought that and one team down, yeah. and we we Shout had out Shaq and Lonnie bringing that down. Yeah, that was that, that was that was amazing, man. That was that was some times when I'm on the mic and couldn't really enjoy that shit and mm-hmm. soaking in until like it was over or something like that. You mm-hmm. know, it was it was some big big moments down there. Uh, like that Drew Lee game, that the, the, every time man one came down. Mm-hmm. And then I had games lined up with Ty Lawson and and John Wall was supposed to play, but every time they supposed to play, it rained. Mm-hmm. So we we never got that never got that matchup. Mm-hmm. But um, take you back to I think when Gill got here, mm-hmm. two thousand and four, because the league still we we was pumping, we was crowded, we mm-hmm. was we but we was still mm-hmm. DC, you know right. what I'm saying, DMV. Right. So when Gill came, mm-hmm. oh man, they, they you know, lights, cameras, action, mm-hmm. newspapers, news articles. Right. Now they really finding out what what this shit is about, right. and it wasn't just basketball. Mm-hmm. So the news reporters, they come and they were everybody want to do a story. Mm-hmm. I'm doing interviews all over the place, right. and uh, shining light on my hood because mm-hmm. I wore I wore Burry Farm on my sleeve, right. you know. And so uh, Gill came down there, man, for that. Three, what was that, about a two, three year run. Mm-hmm. And uh, the first day he came, I think he played in the, he played Qu- in your Qu- game. He played in my game. Kwame and 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 and, <laughs> and him again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kwame and again. I got Gilded out of the damn dumb ball playing against we all won for yeah. the all days team. Yeah. Well, and shout out to my man Herbo Mo. Mo made the call Herbo for me. Herbo yeah. Mo called Gil. I say, man, I got to get that Gil. Gil ain't played no street shit in D.C., right? I say, man, you got to get me Gil. I know you're hanging around him. He yeah. said, let me make the call. He called me back and said, damn, man, you would have told me earlier. He on his way to the airport. He bought the lead. I, he said he would have played. I say, fuck, all right, man. We'll just keep keep him going. But we, I'm going to do some more game. He called me back about 15 minutes later and say, what time the game? He said he going to turn around. I say, man, <laughs> 4 o'clock. Yeah. He came up in that joint, too, put a goddamn yeah, show on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to Gil, man. Y'all in the Kwame. And they say, you know, I'm in a, in a bird farm. <laughs> he in the left line. I said, how the fuck you get up? But it ain't even dawn on me to, to the, ask him to walked, play me over walked, the phones. Walk through the gates. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucking flat Adidas. <laughs> no socks. <laughs> and break. Brady escorting him. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, like, my like, God, man. Oh, my God. Brady Isn't walked it? him through the gates. That's why yeah. Brady tried to take the, the, the credit for bringing him down. Brady, you oh, didn't even, my you didn't even God. know. Yeah, Gil, yeah, Brady. Man, man, Brady, stop it, man. You yeah. you, you, you and <laughs> stop it. Y'all, y'all was tampering with my man down the farm. But you know what? I was so loaded. I didn't even think about accident to play on my on my on my yeah, on, played, on, my, on, my, on the team. Man. But yeah, but yeah, but anyway, but Gil, but Gil played, ended up playing some games with me and that man. But shout out to Gil. But yeah, but Gil, oh, Gil brought that news media over there. Yeah, the when media. Gil first came, he struck it. At the game, left all this, took all this clothes off, gave away everything. You remember that? Give away the man. That Joker was come down there with a different three hundred thousand dollar car by itself. Mm-hmm. 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 Signing after the game, he signing girls literally mm-hmm. taking their titties out. Man, right. he was signing titties, right, right. backs, right. asses, right. everything. Right. Man, this shit was crazy. Right. Yeah. The alley was on swole, yeah. man. I, Niggas used to say, man, you need to go get up, go up, because I was stuck at the table. Mm-hmm. All I could see was what's inside. Right. They said, man, that alley on 1,000, man. Right. They said, girls up and down that motherfucker. And O'Gill bring the damn near six wizards mm-hmm. with them. Karan, mm-hmm. yeah. man, Donnell mm-hmm. Taylor, Blanche. Right. Uh, man, he, he had about six six of the wizards over there playing right. regularly. He said, right. man, they tell him out to practice. Man, I told him, man, we going over yeah. farm, get that bump. Yeah. So when he played that one game, I'm thinking, yeah. shit, that, okay, thanks, Gil. That's, right. You know, I get him at half court. He said, he said, man, what? He said, I said, get, he said, what you need? I said, man, I need some fiberglass backboards, mm-hmm. man. Can you get, get the next day, some people were down there, man, uh, putting in fiberglass backboards. The very next day, mm. on both sides of the court, mm-hmm. and then but the baskets and took the pole because the basket used to shake because mm-hmm. they had the poles and the pole wasn't stable, mm-hmm. and he and he did that man took that did that in one day, right. one day, so I'm thinking that was in you know Gil just can play that one game, mm-hmm. so man I used to you know when I get off work and get get the prepping for the to go down the gates, phone ring I know text. You mm. know them league dudes, they text you, they don't call right. you. Right. This joker was calling. Hey, hey, can I play today? I'm like, right. I look at the schedule, see who played. I said, yeah, I said, yeah, yeah, you can play. Yeah. I, you broke all the rules. Yeah, I called the team that I think 
It's the weakest thing. Right, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. And uh, so, you know, the veil used to be mm. in my ear. Damn, Slim, you going <laughs> to let him play against me? I said, man, this ain't about you, man. Get the fuck on with that bullshit. He said, man, damn. Man. I said, man, the man want to play, he going to play. Shoot I used to call the coach, hey, man, Gil playing with y'all today. Right. Yeah. Oh, and I said, and the day, I told, luckily, it was you. Yeah. I said, Bone say, uh, hell yeah, he can play. I said, Bone, Gil got five niggas with him, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was him and folk. It was him, Karan, yeah, Blanche, Blanche yeah, Donnell uh, Taylor, Taylor, and McGuire. Right. I said, yeah. Bone, he got five motherfuckers. Bone said, <laughs> shit. Uh, I think that fire well, started. Well, you, you, I, you, I had to start. Yeah, Trey, Trey wasn't there. <laughs> Trey, make, make note of What's that. Trey, Trey, no, he was not. Trey wasn't there that game. Or Trey, Trey no, Trey played. Trey would started. No, Trey played when we, when we had all of them on there with uh, Stevenson. Stevenson, <laughs> Gill, that was the same game? No, Gill wasn't there. That's oh. what Donnell Teller hit that 55. Right, yeah, no, that's, that's the Lonnie first time. And, 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 and Stevenson. Donnell Thomas destroyed that, you're right. Yeah. But I had him again with Stevenson and Gill. And we lost the shoot with that shooter. Yeah, that was Trey's dispense Stevenson shot. and Lonnie was. Right, like, Sweetie yeah, Lonnie was they going, going at it. They was, yeah. they, Lonnie gave him the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave Lonnie, Stevenson yeah, the yeah, business Lonnie. that night. Lonnie, Lonnie was putting up, Lonnie putting up the ISO. Lonnie was pulling that motherfucker like, up from the, from the alley. Right, yeah. That was the best game Lonnie ever had down there, and, yeah. and it was against some pros. That was right. that shit was ridiculous, man. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was some good memories down, good memories down that farm, man. And um, also, man, you um. You develop a reputation, man, of really giving back to the community uh, with a lot of stuff, man. The turkey joint is incredible. How many years you been doing that, man? And how many turkeys do you think you give out a year? The, the turkey thing came <clears throat> along with uh, my guy, my man, Ransom Miller, Project Give Back. Mm -hmm. He used to, uh, I got when I saw his flyer one day, and mm -hmm. so I go over. He was giving it his, his head. He was stationed up at, uh, what's the joint up on 14th Street? Mm -hmm. Bell. Up at Bell, that's okay. where the, the big distribution spot mm -hmm. was. So I just, you know, one day I'm at work, I ride up there, and because he said he needs some security, I was. I said, man, you don't need no security. I, I come up there and you know mm -hmm. ride around, man. They, I said, God damn, it had to be about three thousand boxes. He said, man, mm -hmm. we distribute between D.C. Maryland, mm -hmm. the family did, they had to help us. They get, so I said, uh, I said, can I get some boxes for Bird Farm? So mm -hmm. I, he said, yeah. I just, how many you need? I said, about 25. Mm. So he's like, oh, yeah, you can get 20. So I started out getting 25 boxes from him. Then I had to, you know, that was, you know, that wasn't enough. Right. So I had to do that damn near by lottery. And then after a while, you know, I really talk, sat down and talked to him. And we was doing the sponsor thing. That's Luckily, I was sponsored by Nike. And I had other sponsors because I was going to the Wizards games. And when I was down there, they, they thought I was a – they thought I was somebody down there, yeah. which I was somebody, but right. but I always made that connect. Yeah. So Ransom was like, I said, I said well, I'm a sponsor. How, how much to sponsor? So I was, I became a sponsor. He had different uh, levels of sponsorship. So I went from 25 baskets to 100 mm. the next year. Now these baskets bone had turkey, ham, chicken, sweet potatoes. Enough to make a meal for about ten people, mm -hmm. in, e in each box. Mm -hmm. So now and I do if this my going it's gonna be my thirteenth year. I got two hundred and fifty boxes. Over the last three years, I've been doing two hundred and fifty boxes. Mm -hmm. So even though the family's not Downbury Farm physically, mm -hmm. oh they they look forward to it. They on my line as we speak, mm -hmm. putting their name on the list mm -hmm. and and uh, f for that for that give back thing. And that that thing is uh that's one of my favorite uh not with the nonprofit that's one of my favorite joints that I do is the Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and, and then of course the kids with the with the toy drive because we got to take care of the kids but that that Thanksgiving thing I started out doing clothing drives but they that shit got so bad man I, I said no because these jokes gonna make me hurt because <laughs> mm -hmm. I was going to the shelters mm -hmm. you know I, I did a clothing drive I didn't know it was gonna be that big mm -hmm. so man we had to take the work truck Mm -hmm. At work, the big old, you know, the dually. Mm -hmm. Go to the shelter, you know, they rushing the, you mm -hmm. know, the, no, no, no. That's why I took some of my guys with me. So the guy said, no, nah, man, you can't give it to them on the corner. They, mm -hmm. they going to be fighting like shit. So mm -hmm. you got to, you know, had to bring them in there and give it to them. So the guys was like the homeless dude. The new, say, Miles, man, the, the workers going to take the best shit out of there, mm -hmm. keep it for themselves, mm -hmm. 
and they ain't gonna give us the scraps. Right. I said, well, well, I can't leave the shit right here on the corner because mm -hmm. y'all be out here killing, stabbing each other and everything for the shit. So I did that one time and I said, nah, I ain't, I ain't doing that no more because mm -hmm. that shit was, that shit dangerous. Mm -hmm. And it, it put me in a bad spot. I almost forgot I was a police one one time when one of them motherfuckers walked up on me. So I stopped doing the clothing thing. So I just stick to the to the turkey drive, the back to school backpacks. Mm -hmm. And it, it's all about building relationships, boy. Oh, yeah. It's all about building relationships, yeah. man. And it's crazy because I hear you say the feds earlier than I hear you say the police. That's a funny thing because I remember when you first start getting super tight. They said, give me the blues on the northeast side, man. They say, man, <laughs> bone fuck with the police. <laughs> say, bone, man, the police. Man. I say, man, my man, I say, my man, homeland security, man. The man ain't jumped out on the block a little bit, man. He homeland security, right? Yeah, well, man. they used to give me blues, and, they, and as they all started to beat you, man, they say, nah, man, Miles, Miles, a good motherfucker, man. Yeah, Miles but a good I, motherfucker. I seen the police in you. They, they must have already got blessed. <laughs> there used to be some police standing on that wall over there back in that day, too, when I used to come through there oh, yeah, oh, police yeah. on that wall so they must they must have already got you know blessed to come through you know oh, yeah yeah nah, that's why yeah, that's why the neighborhood the neighborhood dude, dude, yeah. right there. Uh, i know when i used to pull up man they used to look at me real real strange and shit man right. i say man these motherfuckers crazy i said bo these motherfuckers jealous bo they get jealous i said your crew get jealous bo. <laughs> right yeah man it went, i mean we know we, we man you can talk forever man i mean I'm, I'm gonna have to get you back on here again at some point, because there's so much I, I want to cover yeah, with you, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, but is there anything in closing that you want to say, man? Uh, uh, man, just social media handles. In, in, in closing, man, uh, you know, the, the Goodman League, uh, the Goodman League Live.com. Goodman League is a non profit organization, 501c3. Got the turkey drive going on uh, November 19th. I do it all, man. Holler okay. at me, man. Um, uh, Google me what you can do. Google me. Also, okay. Bone didn't mention I got the key to the city and okay. got my own day in this town. Okay. I'm a big dude in this town, man. Okay. I, I do it for my city. Appreciate you all day. Okay, 365. yeah, man. Before we go, I'd like to leave with uh, a, a jewel, man. Um, uh, we we talked about other interview. He ain't said about my past on this poll before all them sponsors came at it, but I'm your first sponsor. We're going to get it laid on, man. No, let, me say, let, me, let, let me say this, man. You let came me, out the time. Okay, with right. the past, though. With the past. That was okay, a good right. look. Well, yeah, man, for real, man. I want to give a. Uh, I want uh, people out there to look at. This is a guy came from Burry Farm, one of the most poverty areas in D.C. Uh, seeing this community needed a void. Um, got around there, rolled his sleeves up. And just, you know, brought some peace around it, brought some love, brought some community around it. So, man, you can look at this guy's example for never feeling like that you can, uh, you know, uplift your community, man, and show love, man. And he did it with no money, just all effort and love, man. I just wanted to just give you another courageous shout out for that, man. Definitely, Appreciate man. You. And uh, don't forget, man, tune in to Kirk Bone TV, subscribe, sponsor, share with a friend. And we're going to see you soon. We're going to bring him back. This is this part one of my We're going to do a part two. We got a lot more to cover. Show sure do we ain't get on them them suckers. Out the park, niggas know me. Curb on, little homie. All days, all days.